out here at the rotten range so what we've got here is seven gallon jugs of water a ballistic listerine bottle and then like a, a one liter pop bottle just in case all right here we go at approximately five yards 15 feet oh it's so gross rotten milk water Ugh. Check that out. That's gotta be the first one. That's that's why I love the 44 mag. All right, blew that one apart. Went in, blew this one apart. Number three. Not really seeing any chunks, but good damage there. Sheepdog, hey sheepdog. Oh, you found something yummy? All right, that came out of there. Went in there, did not exit. It did hit, you can see that right there by my thumb. It did hit that, that's a, shoot. Well, we're gonna pour this out, but you know what I hate when I'm out here at the Rod Range, you hate losing water. But I also would rather lose the water than lose a bullet. Now, the thing I'm most shocked on is Sheepdog hasn't come over here and drank this rotten milk water yet. There we go. That is exactly what I was expecting to happen. Uh, I could not ask for better performance. That's, uh, that is perfect. We'll go weigh that and get you those numbers a little bit later. Oh, there he goes. That's the good stuff. So now we know this thing is performing what we needed to do. So here with the XTPs, we got 240.6 grains. Made another one. It's usually a little bit of variation. We got 240.9 grains. And now with the one that we recovered, 225.4. So we lost 15 grains. We got substantial mushroom. Luckily, I've got my calipers right here that are in matrique. So they don't speak American, but we'll measure them with those. So here we got like 1.092 centimeters. 1.86 centimeters. Pretty dang good expansion on that. These, these really aren't fancy, but they're really, really good if you can get them going at a, a the proper velocity and you got these really nice jagged edges of the jacket pedals peeling back <laughs> we can compare that with a 300 green xtp you know this is nice and bright and shiny this one's been around a little while they have very similar expansion but granted you do have another 60 grains of, of bullet behind this so the penetration on this one was I remember right pretty outstanding it's on an old video from way back but but that that should be a nice little trustworthy round do what it needs to do and probably do it a little better than it needs to do it now that's what i call the american way got here a little bit of basil leaf some chard got ourselves a little young and tender zucchini look at that some black prince tomatoes delicious Dang it. They all laid today. They all laid today, but one of them got busted up. Maybe we need a couple of them. All right, so I rendered down some suet from 
I think a prime rib roast a while back, and this has been the best. We're gonna take our chard, throw in there, and then we're gonna take our baby zucchini. This is the safe way to do it. Some salt. Oh yeah, I did say. We're going to stick some bacon chunks, and then we are going to add secret ingredients. Mm -hmm. Little wiener chunks. We throw in our black pink tomatoes. Yeah, can I first? Um, all right, you ready? Yeah. Can keep stirring. Mm, this looks good. A little Parmesan. All right, I think that's just the right. Let me start. All right, we are just masters of plating up food. What do you think? Yummy. All right.